Hi, it's Carter Hellman, and hi, it's Tucker Hellman, and welcome to Curling Chronicles, Paying It Forward, where we get tips and advice from top curlers. So, my name is Edith Hazard, I was Edith Loudon, and I now live in South Lake Tahoe, but I'm originally from Scotland, and um, I curled for Scotland and for Great Britain um, on a few occasions when I was living there. I started curling when I was 15 years old in high school. And my mom, funnily enough, was our PE teacher and she ran the curling program. So she um, got myself involved and my brother and my sister also involved. And um, the three of us were lucky enough to, to compete at the Olympics. My sister and I at the 98 Olympics in Nagano and my brother at the Salt Lake Games in 2002. Um, I represented Scotland on numerous occasions um, in women's curling um, and was fortunate enough also to win the Women's World Championships in 2002, which were held in Bismarck, North Dakota, which was my very first trip to the USA. So, as I said, I now live in South Lake Tahoe. Um, we were lucky enough to also start curling when I came here. It was curling at the arena in town, but um, since then we've developed and we were very fortunate to have a, a donor to, to help us build the curling club that's behind me at the moment. Um, it is a dedicated two-sheet curling club and we're hosting a, a bond spiel this weekend. A bond spiel is a curling tournament and we have eight teams here from throughout uh, Northern California. Um, we actually are based on the Nevada side so of, of the state. So our curling club is technically in Nevada. Um, our curling club's Lake Tahoe Epic Curling and um, I was involved very much with the building and the development here of this this curling club. I was president of the club at that time and um, we have some regular curling and we're in the process of developing a little rockers program which is for um, sort of six to eight year old children and we also are just about to, to restart our youth curling program which is for middle and um, high school high schoolers and that's about to kick off um, in probably two or three weeks. So I would think just following on from the, the youth curling um, for children and kids today that are starting out. Um, getting into a youth program um, would be a really, really good idea. Curling with trying to, to get on teams and into some sort of junior program, whether it be U18 or, or younger. And um, playing also on that kind of circuit is, is really, really good for them. Um, I think it's it's a tough, tough and it's really difficult here because we don't have a huge junior program going, but I think it is developing. And um, I just think advice is to practice hard, watch lots and lots of curling videos because that's where you learn really good strategy and basic strategy. And whether it be on YouTube or you watch Canadian curling, you know, you see the guys at the highest level and you want to try and emulate them and it's not always easy as we know, but you can learn a lot actually from watching watching those curling videos. And if you get the chance to go to a camp that's run by, you know, some of the, the top curlers, then I think that's a really good idea too. And try and get into some junior events if possible because then, you know, your success starts to build and you get better. You're playing against people people of the similar ages. And I think, you know, just that little bit of confidence because you start to win games and you start to improve and start to get better. And um, and also watch. Watch the um, watch the teams you're playing against, you know. The teams that you're playing against are 
are all, for all different levels here, especially in California. But you know, you kind of can focus on the, the teams that are the better teams and watch what they're doing, what they're throwing. And um, at the end of the day, you're out there to have fun, be safe. And um, that's kind of, that's my motto now. It's like, go out there and have fun. Because if you have fun, you'll relax, you'll play well. And uh, yeah, I think that's probably where, where I am at the moment so one of the things that I think for young curlers growing up is to get the fundamentals in place and get those right get your slide get your balance get your delivery you know your online and also the rotation of the rock and then your sweeping position and get all those right from the very start because that's something that carries through your whole curling career if you if you keep going and um, I just think that is such an important part of curling get those fundamentals right So um, the spirit of curling um, is kind of the unwritten rules in curling. Obviously curling has a lot of really technical and a, a, a big long um, rule book, but um, the spirit of curling is something that to each individual player, I think it hopefully means something and something good. And it means to me, be respectful of your opponents, you know, honor a good shot when they play it, congratulate them when they play it. Um, you know, and it's easily easy to get frustrated on the ice, but don't always show it out, out outwardly because that um, that can be detrimental to what I would say is the spirit of curling. Always shake hands with your opponent at the start of the game, at the end of the game, and congratulate them if they play a good shot and if they win the game. But the spirit of the game, the spirit of curling is, um, is kind of the unwritten rules that um, all curlers should abide by also. Thank you.